YouTube welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a makeup basket video but it is sort of going to be a makeup basket with a twist I'm kind of getting bored with the way I do my makeup baskets just coming here sitting here telling you what I'm going to be using so I decided to sort of use some stuff for my makeup basket to sort of do my my face for the rest of my videos today as well as telling you what I'm going to be using for the week as well <sighs> kind of just change it up a little bit I am doing another video where I am testing out the revolution baking oil and I did put like literally two drops of that two and a half because I put extra up under my eyes two drops of that on my face and then I put the bye bye foundation on so you're going to see that video coming up later this week um but just to let you know, this is one of the foundations I'm going to be using this week because I have it set in my head that I want to use this up before it gets really warm and I get a tan. This is in the shade Rich Honey. So I want to use a lot of this before my skin gets darker and I can't use this one for the rest of the summer. And I'm also going to be using or trying to use up this big old Rich Honey in the Illumination, CC Plus Illumination Cream. So those are going to be my two foundations, one of which I already have on. And by the way, who like who that watches me is like a Weight Watchers person. If you are, you know exactly what that is. I am going to be drinking this throughout the video. This is going to be super laid back and casual. And I'm just going to tell you, this is, and if you want to try it, let me know. This is like your Starbucks alternative. So what it is, is I went to Target. Target is where I always get the unsweetened um, cold brew from Target. And it's like in their refrigerator section. And then from Walmart, I grabbed the Premier Protein, like protein drinks in the shade Caramel. So I have my like little caramel coffee, sort of, I don't know what to call it, drink. From Starbucks so you will see me drinking on this throughout the video I am going to apologize in advance because I will be drinking it but um try it out it's really really good you have to kind of work on it and get the right ratio of, of coffee to the protein um, drink but it's really really good so the first thing that I'm going to do is just fill in my brows and this one is just like a little sample I keep down here, but you all know that I always use the, or for the most part, I use the It Cosmetics Brow Power, brow pencil on my brow. So that is not anything new. I am going to be using that this week. And I am going to just use that to fill in my brows and excuse my hair. We are going a little haywire. I um, sort of blow dried it last week. And I haven't done anything else with it. It kind of stays straight, but it's trying to start reverting now. So, hence the scarf. So, I am just going to fill my brows in. I feel like that meme where you do your the meme that you do your wing glider and the more you do the worse it is that's what I'm feeling like right now so in my basket also is the 3d face face creator by Ruby Kisses Actually, it says by Kiss now, but this is Ruby Kisses, if you ask me. And I have it in the shade level 11, which is a shade that I always wear. And I use a lighter shade to sort of carve out the brow. And I'm just going to use this BH Cosmetics brush. It's just an angled, flat angled brush. And I'm going to just sort of shape the brows.
right, so I think that the brow catastrophe has been averted and I am going to move on to the rest of the base for my eyeshadow. And what I'm going to use is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I have deep olive and I have deep chestnut and I'll be using these throughout the week as my concealer and as my eyeshadow base. And I'm just going to put a dot on each eye because I still have some of that other concealer on my eyes so I don't feel like I need a whole heck of a lot. I'm just canceling out this darkness that is on my eyelids. I am going to move on to the palettes that I'm going to be using this week. I showed you the... Um, the Lorac Pro 4 and that looks like this and I will be using that this week but I won't be using that today. Um, I am also going to be using the Desi X Katie Frankation Dose of Colors palette and that looks like this. I think I'm going to use this today but I am mm, maybe not. I'm going to be using that this week. I am going to be using the Bare Minerals, Bare Metals palette. And that looks like this. And I'm going to be using the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. And that looks like this. And I actually think that I'm going to use maybe a combination of palettes here because that Julius Place palette has a lot of the um, the base shades and crease shades that I need in it. I use the Nubian palette for my sort of transition color and I'm going to use this shade right here or actually I need to use like a a shade to set my base and I think I am going to go with a shade right beside it and hope it's not too dark and try to set my base. I am going to use a super fluffy brush and just this is a BH Cosmetics brush and just kind of try to lightly kind of set the base. I think that is working out pretty well. Yeah, I think I like the looks of that one. So actually, I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go into that darker shade right here and I'm going to put that in my crease. to the Lorac Pro 4 and I am going to go in with the shade Spice right here and that will be my actual crease color. I'm now remembering how crumbly this palette was. I am actually, I'm going to go into 
the shade. Let's use, try to decide between honey and copper pearl. I think I'm gonna go with copper pearl. part laid down. Now I am going to take this. Yeah, let's use this brush here. This is a, a Morphe M577 brush and I need to darken like on the outer corner of my eye. So we're going to go back into the Nubian palette. And I think I'm going to use this shade here. All right. So what I'm going to do now, because... Um, I need to do my under eye, but I want to do my concealer first. So I am going to use the 16 hour camo and deep chestnut. And I am just going to sort of do one of these numbers, but I'm going to take the pointy end of my real technique sponge and go ahead and try to uh conceal my under eyes and kind of clean my mess up at the same time i think that did a pretty good job i do feel like i put that baking oil and i thought my face was going to be super shiny but it just kind of looks glowy and i almost don't want to set it but i'm going to set it anyway but this is what my under eyes are looking like We'll just dot a little bit more. I feel like I see some darkness right here. Like my dark circles are getting crucial right now. And I'm just going to tap it in. Okay, so that is where we are now. Um, I am going to do just a little bit under the eye with that dark shade right there again all right so i hauled this one not hauled i bought this when um Ulta was having the 20% off sale. This is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner, but this is in the shade Blackout. So I am just going to put that in the waterline and try not to disturb my um, concealer. All right. All right. So the last thing I want to do with the Lorac Pro 4 palette is I want to do a pop of color, but I want to do it like in the, the inner corner. FYI, if you are watching this video on the 28th, which is the Sunday that is posted, Macy's is having a 30% off friends and family sale. Just FYI. But I'm going to take the color moss. And go into my inner corner and let's hope that works out because this is like just trying something different I 
think that's pretty cute. I kind of like that. Keeping it controlled right in this area here. It doesn't look like crazy outrageous. Like why does she have green eyeshadow in the corner of her eye? I think that's pretty cute. All right. So I usually don't like to tell you like what mascaras I'm using. But just for this video I'm going to be using the TARDIS Lash Paint Mascara. I have recently come to like this mascara again. It was in my collection and like at one of my mascaras it was like the end of the life of. So I put this, opened this one up and started using it. And really, really like this mascara again. All right, so eyes are done. The next thing that I am putting in my makeup basket this week is my blushes. I just lazily pulled out two blush palettes. So I pulled out the Sweet Cheeks blush palette from NYX. And I pulled out the new 10 color blush palette from BH Cosmetics. I think I am going to go with the BH Cosmetics palette today. And I'm going to use that on my cheeks. I'm going to use this for a blush brush today. Yes, I'm going to use this for a blush brush today, even though it's a little bit big. And I'm going to go into the shade here on the end and just put that on my cheeks. I think that these things are decently pigmented. Yeah, decently pigmented. And I like the fact that it's a nude blush palette and at the same time it's dark enough for me. So that is in my basket as well as the other one. And those are my cheeks. The next thing that I am going to be doing and I guess the last thing that I'm going to be pulling out today um, are my lip colors. All right, so we are on the last wing of this video, and this is the lip products that I'm going to be using this week. I left them upstairs. I had to run all the way upstairs and get them, but here they are. I have two lip glosses. Both of them are from It Cosmetics. These are the Vitality Butter Glosses. I have one in Believe, and I have one in Naturally Pretty, which is sort of a nudie color. I have a BH Cosmetics lipstick and this is from the It's My Ray Ray, her original collection. And it is called Rosy. Lord knows my eyes don't want to see that. Rosy something. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And I think I'm going to be putting this on my lips today. I have a Bare Minerals Moxie lipstick, which they don't sell these anymore. And this is in the shade Risk It All. The dog is down here and she knows good and well she's not supposed to be down here. Driving me up a wall. I have um, another one of the... Another Bare Minerals lipstick, and this is um, one of the Gen New lipsticks, and this is in the shade Mantra. Yeah, this is the shade Mantra. And I have a Doll 10, which I have been on a Doll 10 kick. This one is my favorite one out of all of them, and this is in the shade Alter Ego. So that's the, this is the one that I was telling you last week in my video that I can just pop on my lips and I'll put a liner and be done. So those are the lipsticks that I'm going to be wearing today. I'm going to be doing the It's My Ray Ray lip gloss. Let me let me push the dog back upstairs one second. All right, that done. Need a drink. All right, so I'm going to line my lips first with Max Pro Longwear Lip Liner in the shade Bittersweet, and then I'll put the It's My Ray Ray lip color on. And I tend to line my lips wherever it's dark is where I put lip liner. But then up here, I just kind of follow the line of my lip. And 
and pray for a natural look. All right, so this is the it's my Ray Ray's. This is actually my first time wearing this, even though I've had it for some months. Mm, nope, we will not be wearing this one. It does not go with the eye makeup. So I think I'm just going to be using one of those It Cosmetics glosses. And I think it picked up every little dry bit on my lips. And I'm glad I tried it. I am taking it out of my basket for the week. Let's see. I think I still have... I do still have some other of my lipsticks from last week in my basket. So... <clears throat> I might see what's in there. Let's see. Does that look like? Let's see. This one is nice and sheer, but at the same time, let's see what this looks like on my lips. It looks a little bit too berry. Okay, let's see. We just going to go through some stuff until I can find what I want here. So, I am going to go, I don't think that this mantra one, I think this, mon well, let's see mantra. Nope, mantra is too pink. All right, let's keep it moving. Um, what I do have, I think I'll go with this. I need something moisturizing on my lips though. I don't have a, oh, what I will do is put a little bit, just a little bit of this Fenty Gloss Balm as a base because this is a matte liquid lipstick and I do not want this stuff crumbling off my lips so we're gonna moisturize our lips with that I'm gonna put a little bit more of this lip liner on and this is the craziest sort of uh, makeup basket I did. This makes my makeup basket video. I'm going to try to cut this thing up so it's not super long. This is the shade 1993. This is the um, Bare Minerals Vice Liquid Lipstick. And I got this from TJ Maxx I think for Perfect. Yes. So it's my Ray Ray is being tossed out and we will be using the Vice Liquid Lipstick in 1993 this week. I really, really, really like the way that this lipstick goes with my eye look. I like the way my makeup turned out. I have shown you everything I think that is going to be in my makeup basket for the week. If you like this format with me using the items that I am going to be what um, having in my basket for the week let me know and I will continue to do my baskets this way if not we can revert back to the old way if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup bye <music>